What's up guys, I want to welcome you to today's video. Today's video we're going to be taking a look at uh, some Madden 17 offensive tips. Uh, this is a little concept that I think uh, might be beneficial for you guys to know. Uh, so we're talking about man-to-man -man coverage. I think man-to-man -man coverage is probably going to be the, the best one. Uh, what it really comes down to with man-to-man -man coverage is having a receiver that's better. But I've been able to uh, get some plays here out of the Atlanta Falcons offensive playbook that I think uh, would be helpful. So what I like to do is come out in the shotgun bunch wide. And I like to flip it, but it really doesn't matter if you flip it or not. And the play that I want to break down uh, today is the seam divide. Now this is a simple play, and there's really only one feature I really want to show you, but I think it's very important. So if you ever see press coverage like this right here, so this is press two man under. The cool part about this seam divide play, this uh, out route is not quite what it once was, but it's still pretty effective. Um, so I want to show you two things. First, this bunch wide enables you to put the tight end on a hitch pattern. That's part of the reason that I really like this formation. It gives you some more flexibility with your receivers. You can now motion the tight end, and you can put him on a hitch route. Another thing that you can do here, though, what's really interesting is that this far left right, uh, the far left out route to Des Bryant will not be pressed at the line of scrimmage. So snap the ball, he doesn't get pressed, and it's an easy, quick out passing pattern uh, is an easy opening for you. Now, one other thing I want to show you off of this, and this is something that you can uh, really kind of work in and out of, is this play uh, PA post. So basically the way they work off is they're, this, they're going to look very similar. So we're really not going to do anything too fancy here. But all we're going to do is just baby motion does Brian in and go, and boom, he gets a little animation, and he's a nice little open crossing pattern against man-to-man -man coverage. So we'll show you that real quick in instant replay. So the first play is going to have him breaking to the outside. And then the second play what we're going to do is we're going to break just baby motion snap. He's going to a little freeze, and then he's just going to cut over the middle. And we're going to hit him for a nice wrap catch wide open. So the basic concept here when you're playing man-to-man -man coverage is you want to be able to beat them based off of where you have leverage. So for the first example here, as you can see, this corner on the far left here that's all matched up with Des Bryant is on the inside. So they're showing him on an inside position. I want to hit him with an outside pass lead. That's basically the concept here. Now, if they have inside position, so for example, something like this, where he has Des Bryant now has inside position, it changes things. Now I want him to go on a little in-breaking pattern. Boom, boom, snap, go, and bam. There you see Des Bryant breaking over the middle of the field. So those are some keys to beating man-to-man -man coverage. One other thing I wanted to share real quickly uh, with you is natural picks and rubs. Natural picks and rubs is probably the, the age-old most simple way to do it. And you can do it from this play here. All you need to do here is I would probably put Terrence Williams on a, a streak or a fade route. And then you want to take Des Bryant and you want to put him on a little crossing drag route. And what, basically what you're going to do is you're going to motion him to the left one step snap go and you're going to get an unbumpable route and whoops it didn't work quite as what I wanted it to there so we're going to scramble out of the pocket with Dak Prescott just throw the ball away we'll show it to you one more time here so basically the idea with this and we could put him on a slant we could put him on uh, a drag we don't really even have to motion him um, but really what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a little pick on Dez Bryant's player um, and so you'll see here he gets that inside position across the pattern. Dak Prescott made a terrible throw there. I don't quite know why he did that. We're not working quite as well as I wanted him to. Let's see here. Let's try it with Cole Beasley. So we'll make Cole Beasley the rub player. Here we get that natural rub. And we're, we're having trouble still with it for some reason. There is a specific play um, that we can utilize that, we, that will get that rub. So let's try this if we just put Jason Witten on this hitch route maybe that'll create the rub so the first way we showed you is motion snap the second way we show you is getting them off the press and having better route running and the third way I wanted to show you was I wanted to show you this natural pick and rub but for some reason uh, we can't get it working right now um, but we can do is we can put him on a slant route and that will work just fine so if we put him on the slant we do the same basic thing that we did before just motion him a step to the left snap go and there he's going to come right underneath and there's that natural pick able to basically cause some confusion uh, and get that corner to basically be delayed by our tight end running the wheel route here so this is kind of how we can utilize 
some of the stock routes that aren't going to be bumped. So here, there it is. You get the hips. You get the hips turned to the outside. You got him inside, and boom, there's a man beater. So those are three ways to beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden NFL 17. You want to have two, th three things. First, you want to have motion snaps to be able to get your receiver off of the jam. Uh, whether it's motion snaps or whether it's just kind of stock, unbumpable patterns like this divide wheel play, uh, you know, this is something that you can easily use just to be a simple man beater. And secondly, what you want to do is you want to have a receiver that has good route running. The, good, the better the route running, the more effective it is they're going to get open in man-to-man -man defense. And then thirdly, uh, what you want to also do is use natural picks and rubs to try to create some congestion so that the corners can't quite come down and make a play, has them running into each other. That's going to help you beat man-to-man -man coverage in Men NFL 17. If you have any questions or ways that I can improve the YouTube channel, please leave those in the comments below, and I will look forward to reading those. Thank you guys so much for your time, and I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what kind of questions you have for Men.